morning I was gonna visit a little bit about uh, my feeding program around here so uh, we just I walked out of the pasture and caught these guys they've been on grass all night I leave them in in the daytime as you see here I just brought them in and uh, Delilah is eating her mineral block and uh, I don't uh, so I, I always try to have a mineral block and it's this uh, Carina free balance 1212 mineral and so they got that to work on in the day I uh, will just step in here and I'll show you my feeding program of course you know I have lots of dogs this is my temporary tack room so I have lots of dogs and uh, they get exclusive lamb and rice I like that for them and what I do is I uh, I feed them a mash in the morning I put some hot water in and I feed them just a little bit in the morning of uh, a mash a warm mash and then uh, put our bacon grease on it and then uh, in the night they get a full feeding as much as they want to eat and the reason I do that is if you're gonna work dogs and you feed them a whole bunch in the morning they're gonna get sick they'll get throw it up if they work too hard but if you give them just a little bit in the mornings they'll have a little energy from it and then feed them a lot at night so that's how I and I don't know if that's right or wrong or whatever so when I was growing up we fed oats and uh, my grandfather was a big oat feeder he'd feed his calves oats he'd feed his horses oats and the problem with oats was is uh, it depended on where you got them in the valley if they were up in the drier part of the valley they were real strong oats and if you got in the real wet part of the valley they had a lot of meat but they were kind of weak they weren't strong oats and so that was good so you try to get the good oats the thing about feeding your horses these days and and I I, uh, I feed strategy just the normal old strategy I've been feeding it for years the reason I do that is is we had a horse we bought three horses from the research farm in Gray Summit it was uh, Prina Research Center at that time and I got three colts from there and one of them was Bob they were all good colts but Bob we've had him for years we still have him he's found out some kids somewhere but his feet everything about that horse is good and sound and solid and so I I've always been a believer in strategy he was he was actually on the trial for strategy so great horse so what I say is strategy is the answer for oats these days and I I feed uh, if Olivia will come on up I just feed regular old strategy and I feed him in a nose bag a cowboy style nose bag and uh, I'm not on a solid feeding program I just feed them when I'm when I'm gonna ride them and I ride my horses when I'm home I ride them every day so they get a little bit of strategy every day now so that's I call strategy the modern day oats it's just a good solid feed I don't care if I'm in Montana New Jersey Arizona whatever because of the testing they do I don't the infrared testing the oats and the uh, strategy in New Jersey is the same as the strategy in Montana and it's a real consistent good feed and it gives them just what I want this is something that I haven't really used yet but I am real interested for a ranch type deal or a farm deal or whatever where you're riding horses for a long time in real high heat and humidity this replenished mash I think that's something we ought to look at it it uh, helps a horse after you've ridden them hard and they're sweated up a lot of performance horse people should be using it but I think ranch folks should I be looking at it too when you really work your horse hard and he's real sweaty this will help him to recover pretty quick and uh, come back for the next day or the next three days or whatever you're gonna do so anyway that's uh, that's something I'm really interested in I think it's uh, technology is gonna help us we'll put this uh, nose bag on route and I like uh, I like this Calvary style nose bag if you've ever been to any kind of a feed meeting they say weigh your feed and I time my feed but anyway the thing here is is with uh, Ruth she's not gonna waste any feed <laughs> she's gonna eat as much as I put in that bag and uh, I like to I like to put the nose bag on and then that's a Calvary style nose bag and I just go do my stuff and it kind of teaches me to ground tie and that she just stays there and eats her grain and then when I'm out in the pasture and need to drop my reins for a minute or whatever she kind of learns to stay so that's the things I like to feed I keep it real simple real easy now just over across the fence Mesa has her outfit and uh, she feeds completely different she's into the horse the performance horse deal so she's feeding in a higher 
a lot higher level, more sophisticated feeder program than I have. So it just depends on what you do, what you need, but Purina has it all. And that's what I like about them.